what to do what's up your girl g here welcome back to my channel you guys i want to come right back at it and speak with y'all about summer house martha's vineyard we definitely had um a good episode i just got done talking about love and marriage huntsville so if y'all haven't seen that video make sure and go check that out it was the season premiere um yeah just just shenanigans okay that's all that was so y'all make sure to go give that video some love but yeah you guys martha's vineyard is another one that just deserves some love i am just loving it um this video was good just it was just a good black town that's all i could keep thinking of like this was a black party that's all i kept thinking and i loved every minute of it but girl miss summer miss summer let's have a conversation okay so everybody let's go ahead and get into the video if you're new to my channel appreciate you for tuning in everybody else you already know what's up hit that like button okay so we open up the episode speaking of summer winter fall <laughs> august <laughs> um miss summer um you know she is recovering from the night before she got drunk and you know um is basically having the walk of shame the next morning well, everybody's downstairs, not everybody, but it was like Preston, Amir, his girlfriend, they had a moment where, she, where they were talking about like all the sauces or something. And um, he was like, yeah, I don't do ranch because Preston's like, I love ranch. And Natalie's like, yeah, he doesn't do any like white creamy sauces. And everybody was kind of like, <laughs> nobody wanted to say the joke. <laughs> You, you sure he don't like white? <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> but it was definitely more where everybody just like, they caught it. So as they're talking, Noel um, is at the table with Alex. And, you know, he's asking about the rundown from before. Because everybody heard the mess. But everybody was just so occupied with themselves. They was like, eh, you know, I'm not worried about it. But people knew some shit went down. And so Alex, you know, asked, um, sorry off my camera's like shaking cause it's on my, like a little thing on my bed. Um, so yeah, Alex basically asked, you know, what happened? And Noah was like, you know, it just kind of seemed like a drunk moment. You know, she clearly has some things that she's like feeling. Um, and Alex was like, yeah, you know, that's cool. But he's like, we definitely got to stop giving people the oh you know they were drunk excuse because there definitely are people who will use that as a scapegoat every which way at time they do something up and then it's like i'm sorry i was drunk and it's like girl this is the fourth time you did that <laughs> no ma'am and like president said like you should know what kind of drunk you are like everybody at, most people have got to the point of drunk where you where you figured out are you the fun drunk are you the horny drunk are you the get crying emotional drunk you know are you the rage drunk like everybody typically has a realm and yes you know at different points of your life you're gonna have different types of drunks but for the most part what's your equilibrium okay i would like to fare on the the fun let's turn up drunk side okay but summer is hitting her emotional drunk phase and everybody's taking notice we'll just put it that way so um summer comes downstairs grabs uh noelle they go into the sunroom y'all noelle is gorgeous and i love noelle she is such a good addition she's like she's just that bougetto that i like do it's just right in the middle where you know turn up to a good song you know she'll bust a wide open but then you know like keep it you know i'm still classy base you know um, but yeah, nonetheless, Noelle, she basically talked to Summer was like, do you know remember what happened last night? She was just like, you know, girl, it wasn't you. Like, I feel like I'm just realizing, you know, my place in this house. Summer, I think is definitely kind of lost in the shuffle of like, because so, no, was Summer? Yeah, Summer was like an addition last, um, I don't remember her being a, a was she a part of the house? Or was she like brought on as an addition by by um Jordan? I could have swore. But I feel like, you know, obviously too, even if you are friends with somebody, but then you notice them kind of getting, you know, buddy buddy over there or whatever, like, we're not gonna ever act like you, you know, you don't get jealous like if your friend become close to somebody else, like, or you have the moments like, well, bitch, <laughs> like you my best friend type situation and it's you know stupid and crazy but it's just human we're, we're you know we're humans um but nonetheless 
you know, Summer is getting triggered by Noel, you know, being super cool with Shanice and Bria. And she's like seeing them have this fun, lighthearted time. And because at the moment, I think she's closer with Jordan and Preston and both of them got a lot going on in their life right now. She's holding her stuff in and just figure like she's just lost. And so Noel was like, well, do you remember like pushing me? And she was like, no, she was like, girl, you know, it seems like there's something deeper going on. She's like, you know, I feel sometimes a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. And that definitely is the truth. Um, it ain't all the time, but it's definitely in there where a drunk mind definitely will speak sober thoughts. And she's like, it seems like there's something deeper going on. Like, girl, Summer, if you ain't okay, it's okay to say you're not okay. And I think just a lot of people struggle. Like, I think we're just like conditioned that way. Like all of us trying to do the hustle and the bustle to get your life together. And even though it feels like there's little fires everywhere, which y'all, that is a good fucking show. Where is the next season? If you haven't watched Little Fires Everywhere with Kerry Washington, oh my God, so good. Um, but yeah, that's how you know, people's lives are. Like that's adulting. It's fires everywhere. You trying to figure out how to take them all out while keeping your sanity is literally and everything that's going on in the country right now, y'all. In this economy, <laughs> in this economy, like everybody is struggling right now. And so at the end of the day, um, you know, um, summer, like it's okay to say you're not okay, but I, we understand not everybody's able to do that, you know, or it takes time to be able to say you do that. But summer was like, you know, in the little like truth booth or whatever room that they have, um, they, um, hold on you guys, get in a call. All right, y'all, I'm back. Sorry, I was getting a call. Um, we making enchiladas tonight. And so we was checking to see what ingredients we had. I can't wait for tonight. I had enchiladas in a minute, but that's for later. Back to the show. Um, yeah, Summer, long story short, you know, she need to handle her look a little bit better, point blank period. And then figure out her relationships with everybody else and then the relationship with herself. We'll just put it that way. So y'all, Nick this morning actually went to go get, um, not get, but like he went to go run in uh, a little like marathon or whatever. He's ran everywhere. This is like a, I know I've seen him like running in the morning, like, um, like on the show, you know, we'll see him like get up and go running, but I didn't know he was like a runner. And so he went and did that this morning. Everybody was still, you know, in a drunk haze. Um, when he came back, you know, he um, was kind of like basically checking in on everybody and like prepping the house because they just had the freak Nick and everything like that. He was just trying to clean before, you know, the guests got there. But um, um, he was having everybody in the kitchen. And first he talked to Bria was like, Bria was like, well, let me know what you need me to do because you know, I mean, at the end of the day, like uh, nobody helped me when I, it was time for me to set up my event. And Nick was looking like, and then when they did the flashback and they were like, nobody helping Bria with it. Like, Bria, come on. And then the way she kept just flop back, like flip flopping, like, I mean, you know, just tell me what you need me to do. Like, I'm not like, uh, like, I just need to get done. Like, if you don't want me to do nothing, like, just tell me what you need to do. I mean, cause I'm not doing it. And Nick was like, if you don't want to help, then don't help. Like, <laughs> so he basically told Bria, you know what? How about you just handle the guest bathroom? So then she go upstairs, Shanice follows, and then sit there and Bria go in the room complaining. I don't know, they don't think I'm getting ready to clean up the bathroom. Like, why are you telling me to clean up? Like, girl, Bria is one of those girls that is just, she enjoys being a brat. There are some people in life where they're just bratty and Bria is one of those girls. Um, So then he gets everybody to come downstairs for a little meeting and he's like on um, military time. Hey, I need you over here at 0100. <laughs> you know, Tasia, she just touched island. Everybody's like, <laughs> and I don't mind. Like, yes, is it like extensive? Yes, but I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of like Nick in the aspect of like, if I'm gonna do something, if we're all in the house together and we have guests coming and we all live here, like, you know, just just cooperate like you know if i just like y'all want y'all's event to go good and i help with that like help me make sure you know my shit go well too i think that's not a lot to ask 
Um, and Nick as well, you know, um, brought up how he was just kind of feeling like a little like let down that nobody kind of like rooted for him, like didn't even offer no, no good luck text. And, um, he was like, you know, just wanted to throw that out there, you know, just a little bit. And being that I think Nick, you know, he lost a friend too. Everybody's kind of dealing with some heavy shit this season. Like every, like half everybody's crying. Like everybody's dealing with some heavy shit. And so they're just looking for support, I guess, and kind of like this new friendship that's like with everybody that's kind of being like garnered, you know? Um, and so I didn't mind Nick asking that because sometimes you do be feeling some type of way. You just, you know, eat it. But Nick was like, just putting that out there. So I think next time everybody's gonna know like hit him with a go nick sign in the morning something but also i think it was timing because like also nick you did catch them after a long ass night out so you know no excuses but you know definitely you know y'all just be y'all just be better to each other all right so everybody you know is clean and start getting ready Natalie, here, she, here Natalie comes. She's like, oh, you know, this is the only one I drink. I drink only drink 1942 in Azul. I said, not you one of them bitches. Like, I already knew you was one of them bitches, but like, the more Natalie starts talking, the more I'm only getting confirmation of she is the type of chick that I thought she was. And when she said, I only drink 1942, I was just kind of like, ugh. Like, you just one of those girls who just say shit to like, make you feel like you're that girl or like feeling like telling people like oh you know I don't do that or I'm above that or it's just not my scene like you're feeling like you're elevating yourself above other people and you're really not <laughs> you're really not and I it's definitely doing a lot to do with covering with some insecurities you got girl because you definitely got them um but yeah so when she said that I just I roll um, and then when she was talking to Amir at some point, uh, I think it was like that morning and she was like, yeah, sorry, I didn't want to go down there. You know, it just wasn't my scene, you know? Um, and Amir was like, yeah, I get it. You know, it's just not your scene. And you know how us, how black people do when, when, a, when, a, when a other, when them clear folks or people who are close to them, when they start saying shit, you don't listen to what they say. You, you listen to like that undertone, right? What's the undertone of what you saying? And when Natalie says some sh like, you know, I just, it just wasn't my scene. And you think back on what the scene was, it's given real. I can't hang around no knuckles. <laughs> That's what it was given. I can't be seen on TV hanging around with these knuckles. That's what it was given. You know, I sell $2 million plus homes, okay? I can't be out here why they throwing that ass back on Freak Nick like 992000s, okay? <laughs> That's what it was given. But it's like, girl, you, which is why she picked Amir. You want to feel some of the culture, but you, as I say, everybody want to be black, so it's time to be black. That's what it's giving with Natalie. And then you picked um, the right one with Amir, okay? Because you know he's struggling with his identity, clearly. But um, yeah, that part just got me. So everybody's getting ready. Tasia shows up. Nick is trying to make a good impression because he's like, you know, last year, you know, it wasn't a good look for me. And I'm just trying to make sure, you know, I, I show up. Nick, definitely last season was giving. He was trying to see if he could upgrade. And then when none of the girls wanted him, it's like, oh, yeah, I got a girl. And I'm starting to feel like low-key he's doing that with Tasia. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I feel like all it's going to take is the right looking one to make Nick feel a little more validated because yeah, Nick, you stroll and everything and you part of the, you know, like, you know, the tradition and everything, but he doesn't initially carry that type of like swag that most girls are looking for. And not to say that Nick don't got it because Nick is actually slowly starting to grow on me. Like he's funny. Um, and as you get to know him more, that kind of like swag undercurrent starts coming out a little bit. And you know, he just got, I guess, got to feel it in a moment. Them tattoos, boy, the way he was stepping, he was feeling it last episode, okay? But it's in there somewhere. But initially with Nick, like, he's at the forefront corny. I'll just put it that way. So I kind of think Nick does kind of look for certain women that make him feel validated a little bit that he's not just, you know, 
a backup dancer. You know, he's the main guy. I'll just put it that way. But Tasia is the safe bet because he's like, oh, you know, she gives me grace, you know, because I'm not perfect. Right. Because, you know, like you said, last season I fucked up, right? I didn't claim her. Now this season, I'm he every day. That's my girl. Hey, her in the white dress. That's her. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna make sure it's known this season. And even her sister came. Um, but yeah, everybody started showing up. Um, who else came? But yeah, the sister. It was like a lot of people from even from last season. Um, what else happens? I feel like something else happened. Oh, so as the party's going, um, Bria, she did try to go, not Bria, Summer did try to go talk to Bria. And as Bria was kind of explaining the situation to um, Jordan and them, Bria walked up and it was awkward. But at the end of the day, Bria was telling them like, you know, I kind of got to look at that bitch with a, what I say, my good eye. You can keep your good eye on these people because at the end of the day, you know, they be showing they, they colors a little bit in summer. The fact that you hit that girl, that's why your boyfriend don't quit you. That's why your boyfriend don't quit you. That is kind of like a little, you you was a little, you, you nicked a little bit, okay? And clearly, you know, you like throwing shit out there on people just a little bit. So it's definitely got people looking at you like, I might have to watch you from a distance, okay? Um, and so, um... As that was happening too, oh yeah, Bria went and went to be, go be messy with Natalie, and she filled Natalie in earlier. And I forgot about that. And she told her what happened. Tell me why old Nat Nat Natalie, okay? Tell me why Natalie went and spilled all over there to Jordan. She was like, "Girl, yeah." She said how uh, she was like, "Yeah, Summer was saying like the friendship with Jordan. You know, it, it it's not what you think. It ain't all that. You know." And Jordan was like, "The." And he, she went to go tell Preston. And I was like, Natalie, you mess ass, okay? Natalie said, if I'm with Amir, she, she try, I, I know the type of girl she is. She, Amir, you getting worked. I'm sorry. I hate to I hate to say it that way. But you getting worked, my okay? Um, and I'll explain that a little bit later. So, yeah. So, during the party, Jordan, you know, pulled Summer to the side and asked her, like, you know, what's your feelings? Like, what's going on? And Summer was like, girl, it ain't even y'all. It's me. I'm just dealing with a lot and I'm just looking for something. And same thing with Preston. She said to him, because Preston's like, I feel like I'm an easy guy to talk to, but if I'm not, like, let me know. And she was like, no, it's just like, you are a good friend, but we just be having deep moments. And so Preston's like, okay, girl, if you feel like, you know, you need to be like, friend, I don't want to, I don't want to cry today. Like, let's just get up and turn up. And he's like, you need fun? Just tell me. And he's like, but I'm going to be here for you. And I think that's what Summer thinks. She feels like if I really unload and be vulnerable and somebody abandons me, and that's what Summer has. Like, deep down, she probably does have abandonment issues because she don't know her daddy and then her mama, y'all y'all know she was on that stuff. So I think Summer innately is just trying to look for somewhere to be safe at. Um, and so that's why she's always like pushing people away, but also at the same time wanting them to chase after her in a way for friendship. Um, and so that's why she's like, yeah, but you know, the people are going to say that want to say, and person's like, I'm your friend. Like, I'm going to cuss you out. Then we're going to be friends later. And so she was like, thank you for saying that. And that just kind of confirmed to me, like Summer is just looking you know, as Jordan and Preston said, you know, like, I think Summer, Summer's just looking for somebody to just, like, be a, a in a vulnerable place with her right now. Um, and, you know, it was just a good little friend moment. Everybody was crying this episode, but it was, like, a good, it was, like, cute. So, Nick calls everybody outside. He does a, a toast to his friend. Um, his friend was, like, his number was, line number was five. He came in fifth place. Then when he finished his last race, it was 555. So he just kind of feels like, you know, his friend is letting him know that he's there beside him. And, you know, he just wanted to like dedicate this party to him. He was like, being black is rough, but the shit is lit though. You know, and it is, it's like as much as shit that we go through as Nicholas, as black people in America, I wouldn't change it for nothing because we are the pulse. Like we are the culture, you know? Um, so after that was done, everybody said, hey, let's turn up. So everybody was in there. They started strolling, doing the little shimmy, okay? Here go Amir sitting on the side. You know, I got a little, you know, <laughs> I 
Alex was like, you know, I can see you were talking about, ooh, yeah, you know, I want to shimmy. <laughs> um, so they was in there. Um, everybody was doing the line dances. We saw them doing, you know, the swag surf. It was just, I was like, this is just a good black ass time. Um, I did notice one thing too. Natalie definitely was a little more loose and a little more uh, involved in this party. And I, I definitely think she felt a little more in tuned with this space because she saw a lot of, you know, suits and, 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 uh, tuxedos, you know, and some, some ankles out, you know, I feel like because she saw that she felt like this was more her scene. That's, that's all I'm saying. But Amir saw destiny while I thought he thought it was Jordan too. And so he was like, Jordan and Natalie heard it. And she was like, had like a little face. And he was like, what's wrong? She was like, the way you said, is that Jordan? He was like, well, yeah, like I thought it was Jordan. He was like, this girl's changed their wig so much. She is always looking for a problem. And Amir, you could tell, is always looking for a way he can like, are you okay, Natalie? Like, yeah, okay, like, let me serve you type situation. And it's like, Amir, get some cajones, okay? Um, so the party's getting lit, turn up. Simon, he goes upstairs, put that fucking flamingo shit on, comes downstairs, and everybody looked at him literally like, who brought the white boy? Like, it, that literally everybody, and Steve Preston was like, does Simon want attention? It was like, white people shit. Like, I, I, white people, I don't know if I, you know, you watching this. But there are just some certain things that black people, we know that we hear in the situation or that we see white people do. It's like, oh, you, that's the white people shit. And that's what Simon did. He got drunk and did some white people shit. Come downstairs in a flamingo. Like this was at the scene. Like you saw us having a good old cookout black ass time. And you thought, you know what? Flamingo. Oh, y'all. Producers, y'all is not slick. Producers is trying to get feel on this show, okay? They is trying to sneak feel. The way feel slid on in this party, y'all, I am done. He, I feel like, I, I really feel like, also too, because Mariah, Mariah forgot to talk to Amir. Amir, all Mariah is trying to get you to understand is you played a part too. And the fact that you don't even want to acknowledge and just simply like she was looking for any type of defense and the fact that you don't feel like she's worthy of being defended in that moment also lets me know the type of nigga you are or non nigga that you are, okay? You don't view Mariah at, cause you wanna focus on the, well, that was your actions type situation. Yes, her actions are her actions, but stop acting like you didn't contribute to the shit. Like that's all she's trying to get you to understand. Um, but that's one of the main reasons I looked at Amir when that shit first happened, I was like, mm-mm cut the cameras dead ass um but um yeah so when Phil slid in I was like oh these producers they 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 feel like because Mariah Mariah's slowly working her way back in and we definitely got to get feeling here to fuck some shit up that's basically what it's giving because the way he slid in that party I was like mm, producers y'all ain't slick so summer she left the party and Bria goes upstairs and she literally ripped Simon a new one Cause it's like, bro, are you not catching the vibe here? Um, and that's what the episode ended, y'all. So summer, summer house, y'all is given to me. I'm glad to hear that they got a reunion. Y'all drop down in the comments. Tell me what you think of Summer House Mother Vineyard. What you think about Summer? Noel, I love her as an addition. When I saw her over there by that fireplace, been that sober. Let that Gucci breathe. Okay. When she was doing that, when she was busting that wide open, let me tell you, bring it back by the fireplace. I hollered. Um, yeah, um, and what you guys think of Natalie, okay? What y'all think about Natalie? Is she giving what we assumed that she was gonna give? I appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure to follow my Instagram and Twitter, and I will catch y'all later. Deuces.